Hi, this is Danny from Danny'sDesigns.com, and in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make this box that holds a set of eight thank you cards. To start with, for the base of the box, you're going to need a piece of basic black cardstock that measures nine and a half by eight and a quarter. And with your score tool, you're going to score this at one and three quarter inches on all four sides. Rotate it. Okay, and go ahead and set this piece aside. For the top of the box, we need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. This is going to measure seven and five eighths inches by six and three eighths. Sorry, seven and five eighths by six and three eighths. And for this one, you're going to score it at three quarter inches on all four sides. And that's all the scoring. So go ahead and fold it on all of the score lines and burnish it with your bone folder. As well as on the piece of basic black cardstock. Next, we need a pair of our paper snips. I'm going to cut up straight on the score line. And then out of this little square, I'm going to cut a small little triangular notch off of both sides. I'm going to do that for all four of the corners, straight up and down here, and then notch it. Once you're done cutting and notching, this is what the bottom should look like, and you're going to do the same to the top. Cut up on that score line, notch it, and notch it. And this is what the top of the box should look like when you're done. Before we assemble the top of the box, I want to decorate it. So to do that, I need another piece of basic black cardstock. This measures five and three quarters by four and a half another piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures three inches by four and a half, and a six inch piece of ribbon, and a, a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. So just like we did for the cards, I'm going to take this uh, small floral image here from the Painted Petal stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that with cherry cobbler randomly all over. While I have my cherry cobbler out, I'm going to stamp this big floral image uh, using the cherry cobbler ink as well. Set that aside. Next, I need my tuxedo black for the center of the flower. And I also want to stamp a sentiment on the front of the box. And for this, this time on the cards, I use thank you. And for this, time, uh, this one, I'm using you're amazingly amazing. I thought this would be great to put on the front of the box. That way you can give it to, as a gift to somebody. Everybody needs thank you cards. And I think they'd really appreciate something like this. Stamp that. It's done. And just like I did on the card, I'm going to take my scalloped edge border punch. Put this in, center it left to right. Now this piece is uh, wider than the piece on the cards, so you, you're going to have to look at your scallops, make sure you're lining them up left to right so they look nice. And punch it all the way across. Okay. 
this. Go ahead and put some snail on here. Oh, whoops, I forgot one of the most important parts. I need to do the texture embossing folder. So let me set these pieces aside and show you how I did that. So I'm using the same one as I did on the cards. This is a spring flowers embossing folder. And as you'll see, it's just a little bit, the cardstock is too wide to fit in here and get an impression everywhere. So what I did was I ended up turning it sideways and embossing half of it and then sliding it over. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, so to emboss this, you're gonna need your multi-purpose platform opened to tab number one. You wanna put down a cutting plate. And then I have my embossing folder. I have the cardstock as far over to the left as I can get it. Close that, and then when I put it on here, I wanna put the embossing folder as far to the left as I can go because this cardstock is sticking out the side. You don't want it to hang over or that will get crushed as you roll it through your big shot. So make sure it's centered in there. Cover it with a plate, and I'm gonna roll that through my Big Shot. Once it's done, you can see that I have it on most of the paper, but I'm missing a little part over here. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up, and I am gonna overlap it a little bit. I'm gonna close it, but this time, when I run it through and I put it on, this is the size of the plates that you're working with, I'm gonna turn my embossing folder sideways and send it through the Big Shot that way. So that way it just gets this last little piece. And when you're done, you'll see it's embossed everywhere, but you do have a nice seam right here. That's okay, we're gonna cover it up. So I'm gonna take this piece of cherry cobbler that I already put adhesive on, and I'm gonna place it right over top of that. So I'm gonna go about, about an inch up from the bottom and you can't even tell that that's there. Take some fast fuse. Put it right where the ribbon's gonna go. Again, chevrons to the left. I should say points to the left. And then here's my flower that I stamped. I need to punch this out. just with a couple of dimensionals. Have that right there. And then I'm going to use fast fuse again because there's ribbon. stick this to the center of my box. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can assemble the box lid. So again, I'm gonna use Fast Fuse on the little tabs. You can use Sticky Strip if you'd like to, but Snail Adhesive is probably not gonna be strong enough to hold this, it'll probably pop back open. around, tuck that in, line up the edges. And press it into place. Now when you cut the little notches out, it helps so that when you put the corners together, there isn't a piece of cardstock sticking up right here. It takes that away and it makes it look like a nice finished box. We have our lid done. Now to do our base. And we got more fast fuse here. And all four of the corners. You have to kind of use a check mark motion when you're putting on the fast fuse to get it to break because it's super sticky. Like when I pull it straight towards myself and that moves the, uh, the plastic that the adhesive's on. So I'll just slide that back over if that happens. four corners together. Last one right there. 
right there. I have my eight stamped card, my eight stamped envelopes. Those will all fit inside there perfectly. Got my lid on, and there's a perfect gift to give to somebody. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.